Boom, we're here. We are here. We are here. We are here. We are here. If you're listening, rate, share, subscribe. Hold on to too many images of myself. Rate, share, subscribe. Um, we love to connect with you. If you're listening, um, you could also watch at Big Moon Coach. Oh, not Big Moon Coach. Uh, Big Moon TV. The website is BigMoonCoach.com for transformational mentorship, intervention. Um, yeah. Go to the website. Check out what we're doing. So we're going to be super laser today. Um, actually, I'm going to see ooh, Ben Howard. Ah, you can turn it up a little bit, man. Um, we are, I'm going to see Louis C.K., who is one of the greatest comedians of all time. And he's, I'm one of his big fans. So we're going to see him. But do you know what we're going to talk about today? We're going to talk about choice. We're going to talk about choice. And we're going to get real close to the mic. We're going to talk about choice. Okay. Let that bitch breathe. So I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning understanding that there's an environment that I get to create. We get to create our environment. When I was in, uh, you know, treatment for mental health, um, and I wrote when I wrote my first book, we talked about. Um, I talked about. Um, being intentions talked about being intentions and I've, I've been on this been i've been on this beat ways of being intention ways of being um wave since 2017 before i did ala and before i started transformational work so ways of being has always been important to me but one thing that is new to me is creating vision and creating vision isn't always like i want to change the world i want to there's vision in business right there's vision in there's vision in business there's vision in like what kind of relationship you want there's lots of places where you could apply vision but when i think of vision now when i think of vision now i think of the try the the kind of environment i want to create and it all starts with choice what's up bessie hey bessie this is going to resonate with you bessie um, I spent this weekend in transformation, um, watching people go through their process, the process that I just went through and something that landed for me, um, like I said, was, was choice. We get to choose. Um, and that's a powerful, it's a very empowering way to view the world is, is the idea of choosing the, the idea of choosing how t- the interpretation of of what you're experiencing, the way the choosing and curating your environment, environment curating your friendships. Um, so, I thought about. I made a video this morning on my on my story um, of what I choose today, and what do I choose today? I choose. Oh, can't hear me. What the fuck? Um, I choose to create an environment. Uh, what's up, Hannah? I. I might have to start this live over. Hold on. If you're if you're listening, bear with me. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. We're doing we're doing our lives, our podcast live these days. Um but one thing that resonated with me was was the idea of choice, right? Um and vision and when it comes to vision it's the it's the choice to create the environment that I'd like. It's the choice to create, to curate the friendships that I want to curate, um, the decisions I make in my business, the environment and the culture of my business that I want to create. It's all choice. And what do I choose today? I choose something very different today. Um, You know, there was a time in my life where I chose to sorry for myself. There's There's a time in my life where I chose to be sorry for myself. Um... You know, I talked about it this morning. I did a I did a podcast live this morning at like five in the morning, um, so you can check that out on my on my feed. But um, with my mental health disorder, it, I I chose the story of I'm always going to be sick. That's the story I chose. 
I chose a story. I choose. I, I still choose a story that no one likes me and that I don't fit in. I still fall into that story. Um, but I choose something different today. And I want to. I want this podcast to be super quick and super laser to the point. Is that you have a choice. You have a choice. And in in any hardship, you still have a choice. For example. For example. Um, you can be struggling financially. You can be struggling financially, yes. That is a real experience. But do you choose who do you choose to do that as? Who do you choose to do that as? Do you choose to do that as a joyful, a joyful, positive, excited human being? Do you choose to do you choose to be enthusiastic or do you choose to wallow in poverty? Poverty is a mindset. Poverty is a mindset. You can be broke and and not be poor. Poor is in your mind. Poor is in your mind. You could choose you can be struggling financially and choose an environment of abundance. You can choose that environment and 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 if you choose that environment, you can shift you can shift uh your circumstance. So, um I choose something different. Now. Hey, head Head upward, not a head upwards and out. Can you hear me now? This is a jam. Let's let that bitch breathe. Anyway, we get to choose. You get a choice. Who gets to show up? So I tell my friends, like, when you're under pressure, when you're under pressure, like, when you're under pressure, when, when that, when your partner is, is, stressing you about like for me i was broke i was broke raising raising kids you know i was broke raising kids and man i was under pressure you know that's that's one thing that you know women women do get a raw deal women get a raw deal right like you have to it's cultural that women take care of certain things in the household and there's certain responsibilities that are just bestowed upon women um that are a raw deal and then we don't compensate them at the same rate that we compensate men so it's like yeah there's women are an oppressed group which we can get into that as well because the women's rights movement should should mirror the black lives matter movement and should should mirror the lgbt movement you know but white women separate themselves um because you know as dave chappelle says if you're in on the heist they just don't like their cut you know, um, there's still racism within, within, um, within the struggle, within the struggle that that all minorities feel. Point of what I'm saying is, um, I was under a lot of pressure being broke with two kids, um, and uh, I chose, and I chose every day to stay optimistic because I had vision. Because I had vision, I envisioned this podcast. Being what it is i envision this person who i am right now i envision this person i knew this person was in here i knew this person was in here and then there was sometimes where my son's mom and i we'd be into it about money we'd be into it about money and i'd be i'd be so i remember sitting on the bed and just being devastated like fuck you're a fucking loser you know and i would find myself in that situation not often but i felt that way but I always chose vision. I always chose the optimism. You know, I still choose optimism. I, I, that's one thing. I, I don't. I, I choose the positive. I choose the positive over the negative. I'm all fours. I'm all fours. I'm all love. I'm all love. Obviously, it's not every single day, right? But like, I choose love over everything else. I choose the positive, bright side over everything else. Um because life is easier life is easier when you choose the when you choose love first um but it's all choice what environment are you creating how are we doing on time 10 minutes perfect 10 minutes left um this is, told you it's gonna be a laser podcast um i do get a choice i do get a choice and you get a choice you get a choice of who who you get to be you get a choice of who you get to be you get a choice of who gets to show up who's going to show up 
you know, I tell my friends, passion over money is hearts over everything. See, that's, that's see the name. The name is important because the our first we've had a number of logos. Our first logo was a heart that was like tattered, and we should probably make a shirt with this old school logo and just revamp it a little bit and make the art the graphics a little better. But it's hearts over everything. It's love over everything. Not just, can you play some Mac Miller? Um, it's not just love over, it's not just hearts over money, but it's hearts over material, hearts over, hearts over resentment, hearts over, hearts over, can you play 2009? It's hearts over everything, love over it all. And that's the name, that's the title of the podcast because that's, that's what it is. It's hearts over everything. It's, it's, it's always a choice. It's always a choice we're making. It's hearts over everything. And that pod, and it's a dope name of the podcast, whether you think so or not. Fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. No, fuck you. What's up, Alex? I love my brother. Um, but it's all about choice. It's all about choice. You get to choose the environment that you want. You get to curate your environment. You get to curate your friends. You get to curate you get to curate the world you live in. Let me let that bitch breathe. You get to curate the life you live. You know? So when you're experiencing when you're experiencing a quote unquote hardship, do you choose victim? Do you choose victim? Oh my God, the circumstances. Do you choose that? Because that person's not productive. That ain't productive. And it doesn't mean you don't hold space for painful moments. Hold space for painful moments. They're loud. It, you know, there's, I've heard people say toxic, toxic uh, positivity. And I'm one of those toxic, I'm one of those positive motherfuckers that like, I'm always, I'm always going to choose a positive, positive outlook. But I come from the mud, son. I don't come, I, like, when I say I come from the mud, I don't come from, like, crackhead parents. You know, that's not what I mean. But what I come from, the, when I say I come from the mud, I come from straight up junkie heroin addiction. The bottom of the barrel. The worst kind of drug addict that people think of is a heroin addict or a meth addict. And I was that person, you know. And I come from suicide. And I come from violence. And I come from gang activity. And I come from selling drugs. So I come from, I come from a dark place. So what do I choose now? I choose the light. I choose the light. That's what I choose every day. Sometimes, sometimes I want to die. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, sometimes I don't choose that. But like 90% of the time, I choose the light. Because the other time is waste. It's waste. You know, um, I'm going to say something personally. You know, one of the medications I take um, cause, can cause gray matter in the brain can cause gray matter in the brain which means it's progressively it could be potentially progressively shrinking my brain and and uh inhibiting brain function and i have to know that about this medication you know um and a doctor straight up told me she said eric we're trying to keep you alive now you may lose some life on the back end but we're trying to keep you alive now so the way i look at it so the way i look at it is um I don't have a lot of life. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to live till I'm 80. My grandfather died when he was 63. You know, um, I'm pretty healthy. I work out. I take vitamins. I drink a lot of water. Um, I meditate. I take care of my body and take care of my mind. But like the truth of the matter is I don't I don't know how if I'm going to live a long, long life. I want to. I have the all the intention to. But there's no time for victim. I just don't have time for it. There's no time to be looking at at the negative. There's no fucking time. And I'm gonna tell you, you may think you may think you have a long life ahead of you, and you very well may. But don't you want the next fifty years of your life to be the choice of creating joy, the choice of creating peace and compassion 
and curating nothing but the finest relationships in your life? Do you want that? Or do you want to choose victim? Let that bitch breathe. Who do you who who do you get to be? Who do you get to be? I know who I get to be. I get to be Eric all the way. You only have now. Thank you. What's your name? I, you're on my lives all the time. So tell me your name so I can refer to you to your name. Refer you refer to you as your name. But yeah, the time is now. Life is now. Life is absolutely in this moment right now. As Ram Dass says, be here now. And we're going to take a moment. We're going to, I'm going to do some deep belly breaths so I can be in this moment right now and get my feet on the floor. Hey, Jackie. Thank you. I want to acknowledge you. You're, you're a, a kind supporter. Um, you're a kind supporter. But we're going to get in this moment right now. So I'm going to close my eyes. And I'm going to take a deep belly breath. Fill my belly up. Take another sip of air. Let it out with a sigh. <sighs> Let it out with a sigh. Another deep belly breath. Let it out with a sigh. One more. So we get to be in this moment right now. I get to be in this moment right now and I get to choose. So we're going to finish. We're going to finish and I'm going to tell you it's going to be a ooh, good song. Good song. If you're on live, you can't hear what I'm listening to, but it's a vibe. You know, it's funny. Um, if you call my phone, there's always music in the background because, you know, the, the big mood thing, the big mood thing is a lifestyle thing. It's not like it's a cool name, right? Like it's big mood because big mood is a big vibe. Like think of like mood, vibe, essence, environment. Like there's just that's what the the title of of the you know that of the company is because it's a mood. It's a, it's a mood. It's environment. But like my whole life, I try to make a mood and a vibe. So when you call my phone, there's always music in the background, whether it's Krishna Das and Sutras or Sanskrit or Mac Miller or Ben Ben Howard or James Blake. James Blake is the vibe that I want to exist in all the time. <laughs> if you don't listen to James Blake, that's the vibe I want to live in, 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 live in. But again, we curate our lives. What's up, Gianna? If you're here, I'm acknowledging you. I'm acknowledging you. Um, but we we get to create. We get to create the environment we want. We're gonna finish there. You get to choose. So who the fuck is going to show up? I know what I'm choosing. Choosing force. Choosing love. So we're going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up. This. I think you're pretty awesome. Thanks. I think you're pretty I think you're pretty awesome too. And you want to know something? I think most people are pretty awesome. Some people have that cynical mentality where they're like, people suck. I hate when people say that. People suck. What a shitty ass way to think about life. What a shitty ass way to think about life and people. People suck. I like dogs better. Dogs are cool, but people are dynamic. People have like experiences. People have something to teach you. Dogs are nice because they like you all the time. Dogs are nice because they like you all the time. That's not, that's cool. I have a dog. My dog is laying right now on my couch. She's looking wonderful. She's excited to see me when I walk in the house. She gives me lots of kisses. But Matt sitting next to me, Matt teaches me, teaches me lessons. I've learned so much from Matt as a person, you know, whether he, you can smile, Matt. I learned so much from Matt as a person. I love Matt. I love Matt. Dylan, Dylan's one of my teachers. He's my business partner. He's my best friend. He's one of my teachers. You know, even my friend, my friend right now is having legal troubles. He's a teacher. He's a teacher and he's a reflection of me. Maybe a, fre a reflection of my shadow self, but he's a reflection of me. You know, people are awesome. People are awesome. And I've been hurt. I've been hurt. You know, I have a story. I have a story like, 
you know and I, i'll finish with it i keep saying i'll finish but um when i was a kid um i dealt with a lot of racism i've talked about on the podcast i called the nigger a lot and had to punch a lot of motherfuckers in the face and uh you know um dealt with a lot of racism and then you know i was mentally i was emotionally struggling and a lot of people i had this story that i'm too much right um and a lot of people couldn't handle me we just they just weren't equipped to and we just weren't equipped to understand like mental health you know we just weren't equipped but um i have a i i still have a fear of being abandoned by people of being too much but i still choose again going back to choice i still choose i still choose to trust and to love and to be I, i'm this person this is who i am i get to choose thank you summer i'm definitely not too much i appreciate that but i get to choose who i am you know i get to choose who i be and you get to choose who you be and you get to choose how you how you respond so now we're going to finish up it's grand rising it's love and blessings it's love and blessings it's love and blessings we have a, we have a multiple podcast coming out this week so um if you're listening to this one be prepared for the next couple days there's going to be another one drop and we have something super powerful coming to happening um you have a beautiful day i have a beautiful soul keep sharing thank you all you who watch the live and um and you know this is you guys hear the podcast first we're gonna do these lives all the time not not when we have guests obviously we won't do it live maybe we'll figure out matt maybe we could figure out a way to stream the podcast live all the time we're gonna figure out a way to stream the podcast live all the time so even when we have guests we're streaming um because we don't edit this that's the cool thing about the podcast is like we don't edit any of this your voice is so strong these days whatever you're doing is really bringing you out into the light thank you that's mandy mandy is a writer mandy's been listening to this podcast for years and we've been doing this for years this is not this is not a new podcast we're 190 episodes in we're 190 episodes in. So, bookend this shit. You have a fucking choice. You choose. Who gets to show up? Who gets to fucking show up? What environment are you creating? What energy are you creating? What are you sourcing? Are you sourcing love? Or are you sourcing division? Are you sourcing distrust? Are you sourcing unworthiness? What are you choosing? So, I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, if you're listening, rate, share, subscribe. Um, if you're listening, you could also watch on Big Moo TV. We're we're continuing to work on the YouTube channel. Um, we need support there. We have a, all these episodes. We 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 take all this time to set up a set, um, set up a set, and do the lighting and do the video. And Matt does an amazing job of presentation. So so support the YouTube channel. Um, I'm not trying to get famous. I'm not trying to get famous and I, I don't think i've ever projected that i'm trying to get famous i just want this message out there i want this message out there i think i think there's value in this i think i think there's value in this and i believe in myself and that's what i choose i choose to believe in myself so we're gonna wrap it up there i love you um i'm gonna stay on instagram live for just a little bit longer um to chat with you folks but we're gonna wrap it up we love you <laughs>